Designing an inheritance hierarchy is a trade-off. It's a balance between adequately capturing the differences in behavior between different types of entities and having too many classes. So in our example, we saw a customer class, which represented a generic type of customer, and then we also had a corporate customer class and an individual customer class that inherited from that. And the question we'd want to ask ourselves is, do corporate customers and individual customers behave differently enough to warrant having separate derived classes? And in our example, the answer was yes, they did. But let's look at individual customers. Can we further specialize that? Maybe, maybe not. So for example, it probably doesn't warrant having specialized types of individual customers to represent the state a customer lives in. A customer in Wisconsin probably doesn't behave differently than a customer in Minnesota. That customer would just have different values for properties such as region and postal code and state tax. So if we create too many classes and have too much specialization, it makes it more difficult to work with classes. That's a management headache. On the other hand, if you don't have enough specialized classes, then you have code sitting in classes that isn't being used, and that's inefficient. So when you're designing your inheritance hierarchies, weigh the two, specialization versus manageability, and have enough classes to adequately capture the differences without having so many classes that you can't manage them.